Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, it's about 4 a.m. Got me a cup of coffee, and uh, we're about to take a road trip up to Pennsylvania to buy a new truck. So it's gonna be fun and enjoyable, and hopefully not traumatic. So I'm gonna go get on the road. It's 4 a.m. Trying to get a head start. We got a six-hour drive ahead of us. So let's get after. It. All right, everything's hooked up. Trailer lights working. Everything's working. Trailer brakes are working. Everything's pumped up. We should be ready to roll. Also, guys, we've done a lot of work in here, kind of improving things. Got that new bench in here. Uh, we'll deal with this later. We're thinking about setting up a little podcast in here, doing some fun stuff. But uh, we got Fiona in here too. We've been working on her behind the scenes. Uh, we've got some crazy stuff coming with her. She may be finding a new home, so we're not sure yet, but we'll see. Anyway, just turn this floodlight off and let's get out of here. We've got places to be, things to do. All right. No. Okay guys, so I just pulled in. Uh, I have no idea how this whole setup works. We're in the middle of Pennsylvania somewhere. I've never even been here before. But uh, pulled in the parking lot. We're gonna go in, in here and try to figure out what the plan is, how we're gonna get this truck loaded up. And uh, yeah, so I'll talk to you guys in a bit. Very nervous, got the butterflies in the stomach. But I've always been told, you got the butterflies in the stomach, you're doing something right. So talk to you guys in a bit and uh, let's see if we can go get this thing. All right, boys, paperwork has been secured. I'm gonna bring it out here in a second. There she is, fellas. That's a nice truck. Looks good on this side. Here she is. There she is. Oh, great. Full of water. I don't know where that's coming from. <sighs> Smells like teenage boy and sex. Got bows. Hey, hey Juice. Hey, it lights up. <laughs> That's dope. Uh, I don't know what the deal with the water is. We got trailer brake. Anything cool? Pretty much cleaned out. This thing's actually in really nice shape. What's this? We got the old uh, registration Pennsylvania truck. This thing's actually really in good shape. It's kind of weird. Besides all the water everywhere. Um. We're looking at the good side though, you know. <laughs> but hey, so far so good. Now the real question, underneath, how's this truck looking? Really, not bad. All right, cab corners got a little bit of rust in them, but you'll have that. Oh, they've been patched before. Yeah, and you'll have that. Got some good tires. All right, to the damage. All right, so we got a creased in bedside here. I don't know what this aftermarket light stuff is. Bumper's in good shape. Dent, scrape. All right, the cab's in good. It's got a little dent right here, but scuffed up. The doors, the doors on, door handles, you'll have that. But hey, this door's in good shape. Body line here's still good. Everything here is not messed up. Looks like you just broke this grill, broke the headlights and brackets and stuff, but everything looks pretty good. 
front end wise, everything looks pretty solid up here. As far as I can tell, we haven't even dove into anything yet, but it looks good. It looks really good. Honestly, new door and fix this, pull this bedside out. We should be in pretty good shape. Looks like it's got an exhaust, broken hanger, typical. Oh, we got a nice, heck yeah. We got a nice hitch, bolt in. Missing a bolt, but uh, <laughs> got a nice hitch. That's cool. Two hours later. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I just got a workout in real quick at a local gym. Uh, we're on the road. We got about five and a half hours to go. So we got a bit of a drive, but uh, trucks, honestly, I am super happy with the truck. It is honestly in really good shape. Uh, I mean, there's obviously some damage, but nothing we can't fix. And I'm just pumped. I mean, pumped. Uh, it's really nice inside. It starts right up. It's got a fifth wheel. It's got a bed on bed. I'm hoping we can fix that bed. It's gonna be interesting, but we're gonna give it our best shot. The only thing is this, I mean, it's a big truck. That's an 8,000, 9,000 pound truck back there. So we gotta be careful. Uh, just gonna take it real slow on the way home, make sure everything's right. And uh, I'll talk to you guys in an update, but uh, we got 200 miles till E, so I'm sure we'll stop and get some gas. But so far, I am super excited about this truck. It's gonna be an epic build. And uh, I got some cool plans, but it's gonna be cool. So I'll talk to you guys in a bit. Okay guys, so it is the next day. Uh, we went ahead and just, I got home late. Sorry, they're mowing over here. I got home late, didn't really wanna mess with the truck. So we left her loaded up on the trailer. So right now we're gonna go ahead and get this thing unloaded. Kinda of get a look at this thing and get a feel for the damage that we're gonna to have to work on. So let's go ahead and get this thing unloaded. Talk to you guys in a bit. All right, we got the truck off the trailer. Guys, I'm actually super pumped for this truck. It's in really good shape. Just some little cosmetic stuff. Like the interior is really nice. I figured out this is because the window was left down because you can see all the glass up here and that side is soaked. So I'm guessing this side of the car just got absolutely soaked. But just oh, we got heated seats. Oh, dude, this is gonna be sick. But I mean, guys, literally this thing hasn't been driven in months and fires right up. The AC works, radio works, everything works in this thing. So it's, it's I love it, it's awesome. The only thing that's really gonna give us some issues is this, uh, the grill's broken. We have a new one inside. We got that, putting the headlights on. We got a little ding here and then working on back. This door, I think this stuff will buff out or it's scraped. I don't know what they hit, but they hit something, probably a tree or whatever. We've got cab lights, which is sick. Uh, we got any door handles already. The end of this step is gone. We're probably gonna end up taking the step sides off because this isn't a grandpa's truck anymore. But uh, this door is our serious issue. We're gonna try and find a new door just for here. I'm, I could try and fix it, but there's this big crack going through everything. I'm just gonna go ahead and replace it. I've got the trim piece in the back, so we'll be able to put that piece on a new door. So we just need to find a white door. If anybody can help us with that, that'd be sick. But moving on, the cab's in pretty good shape. There's a little dent right here. We can probably pull that out. And then same here, buff this <sighs> something burgundy, whatever it was, who knows. And this big dent right here, which that is what sucks the most. So that's kind of messing up our taillight angle. I'm thinking we're just gonna pull this out best we can for now. And if we find a nicer bed later on, we'll swap it out. But this bed's really nice. It's rough. It's got a little bit of rust in it, but nothing terrible. Plus it's already been bed lined. It has the hitch thing in the bed and it has a uh, gooseneck. So that's sick. Plus, I mean, it's in pretty good shape. But guys, this is gonna be a wrap for this episode. Thank you guys a ton for watching. Stay tuned for this build too. It's gonna be sweet. Catch you guys on the next one.